Greetings fellow warriors and welcome back to another Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord video. Today I want to talk about something that has been on my mind for quite some time now. And that is the current state of the game. Now I know, the game is still in early access and it has been worked on for 9 months now. But there are still some fundamental issues like core issues with the game that haven't been fixed or addressed yet despite the length of the early access and in today's video I want to talk a little about that. But first and foremost, I love this game. Deeply, I loved Warband and the OG Mountain Blade. Everything I talk about today is not to bash the game, not at all, but to maybe get some attention to some of the community's concerns that arose over the past months. I have no doubt in my mind that the game will be the definition of a true successor to Warband one day. Taywords pulled it off once, they can pull it off twice, though there are still some things that we have to talk about. First things first, patches. The pace in which we get new updates for the game is quite slow. So slow indeed that new players might think that the game isn't being actively worked on, despite it being an early access. Not only does the patches come at a slow pace, the content we get with these patches sometimes is really questionable. Many times I see posts saying that they haven't even added any new content during the 9 months, which is a flat out lie but I see where they are coming from. Updates mostly consist of only fixes with the occasional content drop like for example AI marriages, hero deaths, new armor pieces, perks being changed or even added to the game or the legendary new sheep texture. Because these updates are so few and so far apart from each other. Upping the resolution of the sheep's butthole to 4k or one armor piece every three patches is just not enough for something that is being actively worked on. Given that they aim to release the game as a full experience in the second quarter of 2021. People expect from these meanwhile monthly updates to bring something bigger than what we've seen to the table. So I understand their frustration if it doesn't meet their expectations. Being frustrated is fully understandable. Lashing out to the developers of the game is disrespectful and unacceptable. So what could be changed? One possible solution for this issue is more transparency like a roadmap which we kinda have with a statement regarding plans for single player and engine. But these are not set in stone nor is it a true roadmap or even just interacting with community members. Mexico is a great example for this. You can see him almost every day on the forums, interacting with the community, giving his opinions and talking about the changes being made in future patches, like rebellions and fixing the snowballing issue. That way, the player knows what to expect in the next updates and I hope that more of Taywood's team is going to walk the same route as Mexico does. Next up I want to talk about something more specifically and that is sieges. Sieges are a big part of Bannerlord and they have been somewhat broken since release. I'm talking about AI pathing bugs like when your troops only climb one ladder on a siege tower, units being stuck in walls, the enemy forming a conga line for you to chop through noise and slow without them reacting and the list goes on. I understand they want to make each town and castle a unique scene and it's time consuming to create AI pathing for so many settlements in the game. But it would have been nice if it would work on the few we have right now. Now I know, Bannerlord is a new iteration in the series and it has been called THE Mountain Blade experience the devs have envisioned. But I'd love to see some returning features from Warband, like for example unique companions. It bothers me pretty much that the companions are so forgettable in Bannerlord. From the top of my head I can't really tell you what their names are in my last playthrough. Though when I think about Warband, I immediately think about Jeremus or Rolf or any other unique character with an actual backstory and their morals. During your journeys, they often had to say something about where they grew up or point to a settlement and talk about it, which immersed you even more. They expressed their thoughts and feelings about recent events, for example when raiding a village or helping peasants, which resulted in a relationship decrease or increase. And in Bannerlord, companions are always randomly generated, with a name plus a suffix. 
The suffix determines the companion's starting skills like of the wastes, the falcon, etc. and a pre-baked story. They just don't feel as fleshed out as the ones in Warband because they don't care about the actions you take. They don't talk about where they grew up, who they killed or why they've started working as mercenaries. If they don't care who they are, why should you care who they are? I hope that we'll get some fleshed out companions in the future, with for example more fleshed out random companions and even some unique ones we can encounter. We all can still laugh about dreamers being knocked unconscious, but can we laugh about X of the Wastes doing the same? What about the books we could read during our journeys to get like plus one in medicine for example? What about units that desert armies and form a new group, which are much more interesting to fight during mid to late game since they have actual good equipment? What about marriage being an actual long term goal you had to work on with poems, quests and an actual wedding ceremony? Now it's just an RNG skill check. What about feasts to counter the ongoing snowballing issue in the game? What about manhunters so that villages won't create zero income at times because they get slaughtered by endless bandit hordes? I'd love to see these things being added or changed to the game, for it to become the one true mountain blade experience. What do you think? I know this is a more controversial video since everyone has his own thoughts and opinions, so I'd love to see them in the comment section down below. What is good as is? What is bad? What can be changed? Let's have a discussion. But I don't want this video to end on such a negative note. The next patches are aiming to counter the snowballing issues we have in the game, as well as adding a whole new mechanic, rebellions, where settlements that have been taken by one faction can start a rebellion so it reverts back to the previous one, and I'm pretty excited for that. This video has been somewhat different from the usual stuff I've been doing. I'd love to do more videos like these in the future, so if you like this video, please hit that like button. It helps me and the channel out a lot. And if you like what I do in general, consider subscribing to the channel. We are almost at 40k, so I am thinking about what I can do as a special. Join my discord where you can talk with me and other people about all kinds of stuff. And I see you all in the next one. Stay safe warriors and bye.